How's it going, people? I'm doing great. I'm recording this on Friday the 13th of May. And um, I was trying to think of something special to do, because I haven't done many of these face videos in a while. I kind of got out of the habit. So I got picked up something scary. I'm scared of it. Pick this up at the Eagle Market in Brownsville. Yeah, that's, um, it's oh, sweet tea, moonshine. <laughs> sweet tea. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm going to pick up that, uh, those resonances of, uh, okay. Well, mm. let's see how this opens here. Ah, this is kind of neat. I'm going to keep this bottle. It's like a little mason jar with, but it's got a, is that a cork? It's got a cork. That's classic. It's got a cork. Good sign. Uh, see if I can pour it though. Damn, look at this thing. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, it's not the white lightning, and it hasn't been aged in a barrel a bit, so I guess that's the sweet tea. All right. Here goes. Happy Friday the 13th. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. I was expecting something nasty, but this is, uh, I kind of like put it up there with um, the honeyed um, Jack Daniels and Evan Williams. And it's almost a liqueur. I have a feeling this will be devastating. Let's see. Eh, 83 proof. Piece of cake. I'm going to put a, have a little uh, ruski with that. Fight off the cotton mouth. Okay, I've been dreading this. I've been putting it off. I think the last video I got, I did of this. Uh, I think I had five views uh, in seven months. So obviously I'm not doing this for the fame. It's an OCD thing. I have to finish this, and occasionally it's amusing. It's usually just tedious, though. All right, let's see. I got it marked. Section 23 of the DNC. And I haven't read ahead. Duty of the saints in relation to their persecutors little persecution complex going on there. Of course, it usually swings both ways. Now it doesn't it. <sighs> you know, just stop hating, that's all. I like Mormons. I really do. I've known a lot. I've got family members that are Mormon, and I like them. So, I just think this is um, risible and worthy of sharing. Okay. As set forth by Joseph Smith the Prophet, while a prisoner in the jail at Liberty, Missouri. Well, he isn't far from heaven. <laughs> or is it uh, Zion? <laughs> uh, Garden of Eden, all that shit. It's in Missouri, right? Jackson County, I think? Yeah. This is Liberty, Missouri. All facts relating to the sufferings and abuses of the people by their persecutors to be recorded. The record of persecution to be published. <sighs> yeah, well, Joe, Joey was no stranger to jail now, was he? Even before he became a profiteer. I mean, wasn't he like a phony treasure hunter and a soothsayer? He had used magic rocks in his hat for that act, too. Yeah, he was a confidence man until the Holy Spirit struck. Hmm. Definitely like a liqueur. Whew. Tra 
traditional mountain recipe. Sounds, I don't know, somehow organic. It sounds natural. At least traditional. All right. One. And again, we would suggest, for your consideration, the property of all the saints gathering up a knowledge of all of the facts and sufferings and abuses put upon them by the people of this state. Well, if this were the Old Testament, they'd just blow their, t you know, trumpets, you know, and conquer. <laughs> but unfortunately, this is somewhat based on the real world of that time. At least a perspective of it. One point of view. Uh. Two, and also, of all the property and amount of damages which they have sustained, both of character and personal injuries, as well as real property. Three. And also the names of all persons that have had a hand in their oppressions, as far as they can get hold of them and find them out. Why does he just break out his magic rocks? <laughs> Take a look in his hat. <laughs> You're slipping, Joey. Oh, that's right. He's in jail. He probably separated him from his magic rocks. His urum and thummum and thumb. However you say that. Whew. That actually, I thought that was going to be nasty. It's real smooth. A little sweet, though. A little too sweet, but nice. It is kind of like an iced tea. It's, makes me think of that time uh, I got drunk on Long Island teas. Probably the reason I never drink them now. And why this is kind of like bringing back some bad memories. I'll probably not go too far with that. So I wake up feeling all right on the 14th. I mean, wouldn't that be suck if this, you know, is what knocks me off right on Friday the 13th? Well, we'll see. I'll get it on camera if it happens. All right. Four. And perhaps a committee can be appointed to find out these things. Perhaps, huh? Just a suggestion. To find out these things and take statements and affidavits and also to gather up the libelous publications that are afloat. I bet they float. They all float. <laughs> Five. And all that are in the um, magazines and in the Encyclopedias. <coughs> Encyclopedias, really? And all the libelous histories that are published and are writing and by whom and present, present the whole uh, concatenation of diabolical rascality and nefarious and murderous impositions that have been practiced upon this people. <sighs> That's tough. <sighs> Poor Joey and his peeps. This is the last one. It's kind of good, but like I said, a little bit sweet, a little syrupy almost. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Hint of blackberries. Mm. Interesting. Oh, anyway. Um. Six. That we may not only publish to all the world, but present them to the heads of government in all their dark and hellish hue. 
as the last effort which is enjoined on us by our Heavenly Father. You still got to do all the footwork and heavy lifting yourself. But he's up there giving you a moral support. He's got your, he's behind you, way behind you. Somewhere in the past. Uh, Heavenly Father, before we can fully and completely claim that promise which shall call him forth from his hiding place, and that's with a quotations, quotation marks, hiding place, semicolon, <laughs> and also that the whole nation may be left without excuse before he can send forth the power of his mighty arm. It's going to happen someday. Wait for it, that's all. Patience and faith. It'll happen. You may not see it, you know, but someday. I just, I just wish on stars, you know. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket once in a while. Forget to check the damn thing. All right. Seven. It is an imperative duty that we owe to God to angels with whom we shall be brought to stand, and also to ourselves, to our wives and children who have been made to bow down with grief, sorrow, and care under the most damning hands of murder. Much drama. Murder, tyranny, and oppression. Supported and urged on and upheld by the influence of that spirit which hath so strongly riveted the creeds of the fathers who have inherited lies. Hmm. That's an interesting statement there. Upon the hearts of the children. Isn't that how it works? Childhood indoctrination. That's how it goes on. It works for Islam. It works for all the other things. And even Scientology. Up to a point. You know, you either embrace or rebel eventually. <sighs> Glad to be of the latter group. Um, okay. Uh, who have inherited lies upon the hearts of the children and filled the world with confusion and has been growing stronger and stronger and is now the very mainspring of all corruption. All of it. And the whole earth groans under the weight of its iniquity. Man, that's harsh. Eight. It is an iron yoke. It is a strong band. They are the very handcuffs. You know about those, don't you, jo Joey? And chains and shackles and fetters of hell. Well, according to some religions, he knows about that, too. If, it, if it's real. <clears throat> A little sweet for my taste. Glad I, glad I thought to have this handy. All right. Mm. Nine. Therefore, it is an imperative duty that we owe not only to our wives and children's but to the widows and fatherless, whose husbands and fathers have been murdered upon the iron hand. Sounds like a comic book, almost. This guy should have written pot boilers. You know, he was another wannabe novelist. Ken! Which dark and blackening deeds are enough to make hell itself shudder? <laughs> I've dated. Anyway, never mind. Uh, 
had to stand aghast and pale, and the hands of the very devil to tremble and palsy, which palsy is trembling. But it sounds cool. Say it twice. Redundancy is poetic. Sometimes, I guess. I'm a Philistine, I wouldn't know. All right. Eleven. And also, it is an imperative duty that we owe to all the rising generations, all rising generation, and to all the pure in heart. If you can find anybody like that. They can pull the sword out of the stone. And some other shit. And walk on water and stuff. <clears throat> Twelve. And there are many yet in, yet on the earth among all sects. S-E-C-T-S. Uh, parties and denominations. Kind of like sex, but uh, S-E-C-T-S. <sighs> Uh, and denominations who are blinded by the subtle craftiness of men. Imagine that. You mean religion can be guided by the craftiness of men and some women? I mean, they're trying to get on the act now, and I say, why not? It's cool. Um, <laughs> I don't mind any... That'd make a bad traffic guard, you know. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All of you. I don't care. Uh, who are blinded by the subtle craftiness, uh, craftiness of men, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And who are also kept from the truth because they know not where to find it. Unless they get a knock on the door. And there's a couple clean-cut dudes in white and black. <laughs> with backpacks and bikes. And books. And stuff. I like them. They don't come around and visit me anymore. Because I talk to them. And they put out the word. <laughs> Doesn't happen anymore. And it's too bad. I mean, I I'm just was talking to them. All right, anyway, um, and who are only kept from, it, from the truth because they know not where to find it. I already read that. Thirteen. That's, blame it on thirteen. It's Friday the thirteenth. Therefore, that we should waste and wear out our lives in bringing to light all the hidden things of darkness. All the... Bring to light all the hidden things of darkness. Okay. Poetic. Probably stole that from Isaiah. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Therein we know them, and they are truly manifest from heaven. 14. These should be attended with great earnestness. That was worthy of a verse. Uh, 15. Let no man count them as small things, for there is much with lieth in fu futurity pertaining to the saints, which depends upon these things. You know what he's talking about. Just none of us do. If you do, chime in, please. Enlighten me, please. All right. Sixteen. You know, brethren, that a very large ship is benefited very much by a very small helm in the time of a storm. 
by being kept workways with the wind and the waves. Should put that to music. 17. Therefore, dearly beloved brethren, let us cheerfully do all things that lie in our power, and then may we stand still with a most assurance. He's in, by the way, he's in jail right now in Missouri in a 18, what, 41 or something. Towards, you know, he's circling the drain. So this is very interesting. Therefore, dearly beloved brethren, let us cheerfully do all things that lie in our power, and then we, uh, then may we stand still with the uttermost, utter, uttermost assur assurance. To see the salvation of God. And there'll be pie in the sky when you die. That's not a lie. And for his arm to be revealed. And that's it for uh, section 123. I'm actually glad I read that. I don't know if I can do another one. This goddamn sweet teen moonshine kicked my ass, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Let me know if you learned something, or if you understood any of this, or if you have an idea for future videos. If you want me to respond to a video that's out there in YouTube, send it to me. Yeah, message me. Let me know if you want me to react to something. Because, honestly, I'm running low on ideas. <laughs> I'm not much of a performer, but I'm a good reactor. I keep it real. Anyway, chime in. And stay tuned. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I had a great Friday the 13th. And uh, still pretty good. So... Say hi.